Hello everyone, welcome to the session on introduction to LISA 8.0.0. I am Varun and today we would like to install an application software named LISA which is a very user friendly finite element analysis package only available for Windows operating system. After successful installation, we will get to know about the user interface of application software followed by discussing the general structure followed for solving every problem. Let's get start with the download process. Open any of the web browser available with you and type the keyword LISA 8.0 in Google search engine and you will get this result. Open the very first link shown on the web browser and you will get this web page opened and then click on the download icon to download this application software. Then open the location where your browser placed the downloaded files and now double click on the setup file to execute the installer and wait for a while as it is initially going to check the essential required files in your system. As all these requirements are ok, then click on next. Then accepting the license agreement, then again click on next. If you want to change the path of the installation, you can change. Then click on next. Then click on install. Now click on finish. Now we have successfully installed the software. Now launch the software and get to know the environment of it. This is graphic area which plays a crucial role in displaying as well as in creating the geometric model along with solution. The next is the different selection modes in which you would get three different options. Activating first would allow you to select the nodes only in the component. Activating second would allow you to select the faces of the component and activating third would allow you to select the elements of the component. Then next is the mesh creating and editing toolbox which would be helpful in discretizing the domain or we can also use this in creating the domain or we can also say the component. The next is the display options toolbox which would provide you various operations like zoom, fit to screen, isometric viewing, rotate and many more. Then the next is the outline tree which would present the model structure and solution. Now let's start with the very basic and required step in order to implement finite element analysis that is defining the domain of the problem or we can also say it geometric modeling. Let's have an example to understand the use of tools available in an application software. The example is draw the geometric model of being of length 12 meter having cross section 2 meter by 0.5 meter using LISA 8.0.0. After reading the problem, in order to model the beam, Initially, we draw the base sketch in XY plane and also changing the viewport of display area from 3-dimensional to 2-dimensional 
by clicking on the z-axis showing in the bottom right corner. Now select the new node from mesh editing and creating toolbox. Now enter the coordinates into the generated dialog box starting with 0, 0, 0 and then click add. The next is 12, 0, 0, add. Then third one is 12, 0 0.5, 0, add. Last one is 0, 0 0.5, 0, and then add. And then close. Let's learn some mouse control so to Look, look at all the four nodes. To zoom in or zoom out, rotate the mouse wheel. In order to pan, drag the cursor with holding the right click. In this way, we are now getting our all the four, all the four nodes. Now select new element from toolbox. Select quad 4 in add element dialog box and then clicking on the generated nodes in the graphic area in a sequential manner as they are generated and then click on add in add element dialog box like this. 1, 3, Four. Then click on close. The 2D model for beam is generated and in order to generate the 3D model of beam, select second option in selection mode for selecting faces using left click and drag the mouse over the component and make the selection. Then click on extrude command. Enter the thickness value 2 in thickness column and 1 in number of subdivisions and then clicking OK. We are successfully generated the desired beam. After defining the problem domain, from outline tree, the global properties such as analysis type, physical constants, solver settings, and output options, by right clicking the analysis and selecting edit. You can here select whichever is required for your study. Then next step after defining domain is always a discretization where we generate the mesh with selective element type. For a while let's see this on 2D plane initially. Go to Mesh Tools available in Header tab, then click on Refine, then on Custom, and the dialog box would open, which is well instructing the element types by inputting the relative internal element axis. Should put 6, 2 for using quad 4 element and then apply then close the next step is to assign a material to the component or uh, comprising of elements by giving the material properties into the respective tabs which should be open through right clicking on default and then assign new material here we can assign the mechanical material properties mechanical properties then in isotropic 
you should put the Young's modulus for steel in this manner, Poisson's ratio and then density and then close. Then you have to give the boundary conditions as per your requirement. For a while, I am fixing this end as a fixed port. For that, I should put new fixed port in this way. If I want to put the force In this way, we put the boundary conditions. Like I have put the fixed port in the end and point load at the end and at the another end. Then selecting solve tool to get the solution of the problem. Here you get the displacement in X, displacement in Y, in dis dis displacement in Z, stresses in XX, one versus stresses and many more things. You can also have a look at animation. These are the general steps which should be followed every time while aiming for finite element analysis of a component. Thank you for watching. For more videos, do subscribe my channel, Mackie Insight.